Okay, how to contact me, Simon Blake. Now, you want to, um, the first thing to do, if you're trying to contact me, thank you for trying to reach out for me, I appreciate it. Um, the, the first thing I could suggest to, to do, to try and get a hold of me, is to contact um, the email address, simonblake at emotionalpreparation.com. And um, that's the first way to be able to try and contact me, reach out with what it is that you want to talk to me about, and, and, and that would be great. Second way to contact me is find my number. Now, look, I, uh, have, I am notorious at absolutely um, not answering the phone and not, not keeping up with some of the communications and such. It's, it's just, that's just the truth of it. And the reason why is because I really don't want to get bothered. Honestly, I'm such an introvert. Uh, I'm doing these video stuff now, and, and well, you know, I'm doing it because I want to help people, and that's that's really the real the reality. But here's the thing: um, find my number, and then put the um, uh, text me who who you are. Just, just I don't need to know. I don't need to know like too much information. All I need to know is like what you're contacting me about. Does that make sense? And then I can give you a call back or I can, uh, you can con we can contact each other. So then, then that's a way that I use to, I wanna be sure that I'm kind of screening everything so I'm not, I'm not using my time in other, in other ways. I wanna be very, very clear. I've had so many numbers over the years and, uh, uh, and situations. So here's the thing. Um, the third way to contact me, which is fine to do, is join me on the live feed. And um, uh, contact me on the live feed, and, um, uh, and then that's another way to contact me and tell me that I need to, like, to contact me or you'd like to talk to me about something or whatever. And that would be another way. Now look, I am absolutely determined to absolutely express how to do emotional preparations for actors, artists, and creators. I want to absolutely share with the entire world every single thing. I have watched over 30,000 acting exercises. And I mean, it's, I have, this are, these are not all my notes, I'm sorry. They're not, I mean, these are just some of my notebooks. And the reality is I, I just really absolutely am into all of that stuff having to do with how to be able to access emotion and be able to put it into work, right? Just like I described. So if you want help to be able to achieve emotional preparation or you want to be able to contact me so you, I can do coaching with you or whatever, what I, I normally would recommend, and I recommend this whether you're working with me or not, I would recommend that you do your emotional preparations the night before. Do a test run of your emotional preparation, see if you can activate it or not. Now, obviously, if you have a schedule that doesn't work like that, then you can't. But if you can afford the schedule of the ability to do your emotional preparation the night before, that is absolutely ideal. And then when you're going into your classes, when you're going into the studios, when you're working with uh, auditions, then it's a matter of working with reactivating those emotions, that, those deep feelings, those instincts, and reactivating those to have those alive in you just prior to doing your acting work. And the key is absolutely in receiving. Uh, it's the, just the absolute truth that you want to get that energy to being able to receive your partner. And as soon as you can receive your partner, then all of a sudden their energy and your energy mixes in and then you can maybe have some real chemistry work within the scene. So it's just that simple. So thank you so much for wanting to contact me. I really appreciate it. I'm very open to uh, being able to help people either for emotional preparations uh, through the internet, um, through um, stuff. If you have a film that you're working on, I can help you be able to, to help you with access those specific things that you need to be able to put into your work. And, um, you know, there's a lot of other things I could say, but you just think to yourself, what is it that you want to work on? What is it that you're looking to do? And what opportunity or not that you're looking to be able to discuss? And then we'll go from there. Okay? So thank you very, very much for your interest, and uh, good luck with everything.
Now look, we're at the end of the video, and I want to be very, very clear. I would be doing you a disservice if I didn't tell you this. This is absolutely key. You, you want to be able to do this work, be very alive, very alert, very deep. You want to work with your emotions. It can be very uh, and jarring for your emotional life, right? You have all of these incredible, incredible experiences. But after you're done working, you need, you absolutely need to learn techniques that get you to not have that being re-stimulated in your life so that you can go and you can live your life. This is part of being a healthy artist, healthy actor. So I encourage you to explore my techniques and various different ways that you can get rid of your emotion after you're done working. You don't need your emotion anymore at that moment to be activated. You just need to be able to be free from it. And this is a very, very, very important thing.